Okay, yeah, this one is a re, uh, rezoning request by the Pregnancy Support Clinic. It rezones 0.58 acres from duplex residential 10 to office professional. Um, the zoning map on the screen and then your packet, you see the existing DR10 zoning that is a carryover from 12, 13 years ago under the old zone ordinance. Um, and then the OP is for uh, to allow the medical clinic or the uh, pregnancy support clinic. The applicant owns the property to the south, as you see on this map, it's already zoned OP. We're proposing to expand into this property, convert the existing residence into office space and perhaps also clinic space, and hence the nature of the rezone. Um, in your packet, of course, gives some information. We go to the next map. I'll cover a few more of the slides with this one. Character area it is transitional neighborhood. You should see Oak Street is the border of the character areas with the possibility um, of OP zoning and RP zoning is there. Uh, mostly you see most residential zoning. The next slide shows the aerial image. You see rooftops um, of houses in the area. Uh, like we talked about at the work section, some of the RP zoning along Wayne Avenue is misleading those sort of developers' houses and then the existing clinic building to the south. Uh, some of you, maybe only a couple of you, remember the zoning case from back in 2010, I think it was, when that OP property came along at the corner of Park and Oak. There was a lot of discussion of it at that time, and City Council granted OP based on its location of Park Avenue corridor instead of Oak Street. Um, a lot of concern, at least on the part of staff, with protecting residential character along Oak Street. And so with that, the, it's a difference on this corner than it is on the other. Um, going through the slides, you can see the survey. There's a site plan. And this is turn 90 degrees. The existing clinic parking lot is on the right. The existing house is there before you. And you see the proposal is to extend the driveway and parking spaces into this property and connect out to Oak Street. Um, some photographs, subject property, you see the residence, this is the view from Oak Street, and then this is the rear yard, um, some other properties in the area, the existing clinic to the south, and then some houses across the street, this is on the west side of Oak, and then I think the last one there is a house on my Avenue. Um, concern is encroachment into residential neighborhoods, as have often been the concerns with rezonings along Oak Street. And so with that, staff has found this request also inconsistent with the conference plan and stands for exercise of zoning power during your packet, and we are recommending the not. Thank you, ma'am. Um, do our commissioners have questions for staff? I got one. Okay. Why would you say it's not consistent when you got OP on that abuts it? Um, OP is on one side. I see a lot of R15 zoning around there. Okay. But it abuts it. On one of four sides, yes, there it does. Okay. Matt, going back to the pictures of the home to show, are they directly across from the proposed rezoning? They are. Correct. Correct. Across, I think, diagonally up, and then there's the one that's directly across. Okay. That was a zoning case you might remember for townhouses yeah. a few years ago that was denied. Mm -hmm. So, what was the justification for giving them the OB? This was in 2010, correct? 2010, when you look at the West Park Avenue corridor, mm -hmm. it's a road that is classified differently, carries a lot more traffic, um, it also has a lot of non residential uses. Mm -hmm. And the property on the corner faces Park Avenue. That was part of the stipulation. The other, um, I guess you could call it a comforting factor, is that property to the south is within the local historic district. And so the architectural design would be controlled that way. Subject property is not in the local historic district. And so it's two different street corners with different characteristics in terms of what's there and what they connect to. Certainly. I'm just curious, um, back to the existing house that we're discussing for this evening, do you, you have any indication that that's going to be demoed and put back up or it's going to be just like it is right now? The applicant's proposal is to adapt this existing building. And 
to the zoning does not make, require them. Does that mean interior work? Interior work, as far as I know. Leave the outside skin as it presently is. Correct. All the elevations be just like they are. That's Driveways the, just like they are. That is the proposal, but like we talked about the work session, OP zoning does not require that. It could, it could be demolished and redeveloped to whatever OP zoning allows. But the, the proposed property is not in the historical district. Correct. Okay. That's all. And it is in the transition, the transitional neighborhood. Correct. And did you say that Park Avenue, the public traffic flow, triggered the OP on the corner? It didn't trigger it, but it has a different characteristic. Traffic, but mainly land use pattern. You look at that portion of West Park Avenue between Oak and Patterson, most properties there are non-residential. You look at Wayne Avenue, residential almost exclusively. Almost. Almost. But this um, the very building is there faces Oak Street. Oh, sorry. All right. Any other questions? All right. If not, let's turn it over to the audience. Is there anyone here tonight who wishes to speak on behalf of this request? Please state your name and address for the record, please. I'm Chairman and Commissioner. I'm Dr. Mark Keynes. I'm 55 Wilkenberry Circle here in Austin, Georgia. Uh, I'm the Chairman of the Board of Austin's now. You know, unlike uh, some of the folks that come before you today, I'm sure most often the benefactor is the person standing where I'm standing now. In this case, the benefactor is our community. Uh, this is a not for profit organization uh, which has an excellent reputation for the 29 years, 30 years of celebration next year. Uh, we built on the corner of uh, Park Avenue and Oak Street uh, eight years ago, going closer on nine, with the uh, faith and intent that that may last us a while. But we have been blessed, and I think these were appropriately blessed by our Lord to grow and outgrow that clinic from the standpoint of what we're able to do. Many years ago, uh, in, in the pregnancy support, crisis pregnancy business, we rarely ever saw a hint coming to the, to the uh, clinic. We're now seeing about 50% of, of the moms, moms to be, come to that clinic to, to the mail. So uh, our board is led to go in the direction of adding the mail to the ministry, the men's ministry. And uh, so we are, we're needing to take the existing, what we consider to be our clinic space, our clinical space in the corner of Park and Oak, and convert it to all clinic space. So most of the public traffic will continue to be in that building, that building alone. In order to do that, we need to move the administrative functions that are currently in our buildings, the community relations, the administration, but the managers and the folks, the financial folks out of that building in order to make room for clinical space that we need. When we do that, we're proposing to use this home next door to the Giddens zone. The Giddens approached us about several years ago. But we got ready to come and talk, come talk to them, and we have. Um, our plan is to leave that premises as it appears on those photos now. The exception is maybe painting the outside of it and dressing it up. You will see no difference from the front of the property at all. <coughs> Any changes will be made to be on the inside. And I know that that's not stipulated in the ongoing code, but we plan to have been here 30 years, plan to be here 30 years more. And it's, a, it's a extremely worthwhile call. This benefits our community, this benefits our county and our city. Last year, there were over 200 babies that were saved through this organization. And over 30 years, it's been far too long. Mm -hmm. So I would ask that you uh, consider this. We, we understand that you operate under uh, the guidelines that we do, but we also uh, really need this property. Some people have asked us why we didn't approach the vacant property on Park Avenue. We have tried to do that. But this is an uh, organization that depends on donations. We have the excellent stewards of the money that's given to us. That was just unaffordable. And so we have approached this property because it offers us some 3,000 square feet at a much, much better price than we've ever built. So we ask for consideration of this. Any questions? Thank you, Dr. Ains. Yes. Dr. Ains, thank you for coming forward tonight. I just have a question or two. So just for clarification, uh, the existing home structure sitting there may have some interior renovations, but the exterior facade will stay as it is. Stay as it is. 
second, second question, the two-story rendering per hour uh, conceptual plan says you're going to remove the second floor and do a single-story application? Well, we were willing to do that. Oh, you just, I mean, but really? would it work better if you were to leave it like it is? Maybe we'd like to get it just to the floor first. We're uh, planning, if you put it on your site, your site's catching, you can see a small square mm -hmm. uh, north yeah. of the uh, upper right corner. That's where existing storage is. We're not going to lose that in order to drive on back to the property to make the property so we need to place it. We need that room for storage. One good condition. One final question for me, sir. Is, is I know this uh, this traffic flow pattern pattern comes from your existing offices and kind of flows back around and has some new spaces in there, new parking spaces, and then the flow traffic's going out. Do you have any sort of count what you think would be a daily count flowing back out into Oak? Uh, I, I don't think that that would be used by any of the public in terms of the building. The building is simply being used by four or five or six people to be working in that. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Any other questions for our speaker? Thank you, Dr. Ames. Is there anyone else here tonight who wishes to speak on behalf of this request? So please come forward. We're just here to show our support for this application. Right. Thank you. I'm Rick Blank at 4708 Sand Solid Drive. They hire us my social address, but I'm a property owner in this neighborhood, 2215 North Patrick Street several other properties around this area and I would be concerned about property values you know, as much as anybody would but I'm very much in favor of this uh, request. I concur with all the Mark has said. I'm, a member, I'm on this board of directors as well and um, we're very excited about this prospects. It's very needed for our ministry. I think we're doing great things for this community and want to have this administrative space to help us and I really anticipate this not changing for, for, for a long time. We have no plans to do anything other than what we've talked about tonight. Thank you. All right. All right. We've exhausted our time on those wishing to speak uh, on behalf. Is there anyone tonight who wishes to speak against the request? Anyone wishing to speak against the request, please come forward. State your name and address for the record, please, sir. Dr. Bradford, room 2101, Michael Terrace. I actually live. Although I appreciate that the uh, house will look the same from the outside, I'm looking at nine new parking spaces, a lot of, a lot of new pavement, and that's, um, that's a big significant change to a residential property. Um, this commission has held the line on some other recent proposals to change some of back to house right across the street. Um, I do have a question, um, Dr. Burster. Um, one question, please. Do you know if this is current? If this building is uh, home is currently inhabited? Do you know? Is there anyone else tonight who wishes to speak against the request? Please come forward. If you wish to speak against the request, please come forward. All right, if not, I'll turn it back over to the commissioners for any final discussion. And if there's no discussion, then I'll entertain a motion. Madam Chair. Commissioner Bailey. 
the case VA 2020-05 that is set before us presently. I would say without hesitation, it gives me great pleasure to make a motion that we approve this request this evening and keep this ministry on track. All right. I'll second it. All right. Who was that with us Okay. Okay. All right. So we have a motion to approve this request by Commissioner Bailey, a second by Commissioner Ball. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion, please raise your right hand. All those against? Okay. All right, motion carries. Thank you. All right, 